At this time, there was a group of people that held the job of tax collectors. Mm. These people were the most hated group of workers in the entire empire of Rome because a lot of what they did was dishonest and they were viewed as traitors by their own communities. The most important of the tax collectors was named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was known for two things, being super duper rich and being super duper short. Zacchaeus was so short that even if he jumped, he couldn't see above the head of people walking in front of him. As Jesus was walking through Jericho, a great crowd lined the streets to see Jesus. Zacchaeus wanted so badly to see Jesus, but couldn't because of the crowd. So Zacchaeus climbed a tree so he could see what Jesus looked like. As Jesus was walking through Jericho, he looked up and saw Zacchaeus and called up to him, I am coming to your house, Zacchaeus. A lot of the people in the crowd got mad because Jesus was going to go and eat dinner at this man Zacchaeus' house. After all, Zacchaeus was the most hated man in the whole city. But Zacchaeus had his heart changed by meeting Jesus and decided that he would not be dishonest anymore. In fact, he told Jesus that he would return four times as much money to anyone that he stole from. Jesus reminds his disciples that he came to save the lost. There's no one that is too bad or too sinful for Jesus to not love. The Bible tells us that Jesus is like a shepherd who has come to get all his sheep together, to lead them to still waters and green pastures. Jesus knows his sheep and his sheep know his voice. In the story of Zacchaeus, there are large groups of people who follow Jesus. And these Jesus followers get upset because Jesus came to save Zacchaeus. This story tells us we are all saved by grace. None of us has earned our salvation Jesus gives it to us freely. It's easy to look at people and believe that they are too bad or too lost or too far gone for Jesus. But Jesus is the good shepherd. He will leave and travel and fight for his lost sheep.